So I see you have a, a strong math background, particularly in your undergraduate. How do you uh, think that'll play a role with medical imaging and uh, neural networks we try to make? I think that in general, a strong math background will help me learn uh, even more um, machine learning uh, skills. Like a lot of them are based on math, and I noticed that a lot of um, the last 10 or so papers in uh, whoever, which one of you is, uh, Dr. Shen, <laughs> um, uh, were based on optimization. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot about optimization, which has um, a lot of math in it. And so I've been exposed to a little bit of that, and I have enough uh, background that I can further my understanding. So have you looked at optimization in terms of neural networks? I mean, have you looked at that sort of mathematical problem? Uh, yeah, I mean, so the neural network when you give it uh, the training data, and you initially it'll make up a, pr a prediction, mm -hmm. and we measure how far away the prediction is from the actual answer, and then we use uh, different optimization algorithms to minimize that that loss, that how far away it is. So uh, there's definitely a big component of optimization. Have we done anything with noise removal from images, or noise removal from noise removal from signals, or? Um, I haven't done anything in particular. In that area? Okay. So often, I mean, sometimes you might have the opportunity to mentor a grad student or work with an undergrad um, at UF. Uh, could you talk a little bit about your teaching and mentorship experiences? Yeah, so throughout my PhD, I was a, a teaching assistant for various different courses, mm -hmm. um, sometimes in the program on of interdisciplinary computing, which involved uh, teaching different undergrads uh, Excel skills and other uh, programming skills. And then in uh, scientific computing, uh, I was teaching different computational science methods. And also, um, this is something that's happening right now, so I haven't added it to the resume, but by then it will be. Um, I was part of the Young Scholars program as a mentor, mm -hmm. so I mentored uh, but with another lab mate, uh, we both mentored uh, two on, uh, high school students that wanted to get a taste of research before they applied to universities. So I, I had a little experience uh, guiding people. 